an epidemic in a pandemic. The opioid crisis during the COVID-19 pandemic. Let's first discuss the opioid crisis. Opioids are a class of drugs often used as medication to relax the body or help relieve pain. However, not all opioids are illegal and they can also be used for non-medical reasons. This is dangerous because opioids can be highly addictive and overdoses and death are not uncommon. The opioid epidemic began in the 1990s and has become one of the leading causes of death in America. Now, with the pandemic, patients struggling with opioid addiction are found to be more likely to overdose as well as be at a greater risk of infection from COVID-19. This surge in opioid overdose is likely due to the fact that many factors associated with the greater COVID-19 economic effect are also known to shape disparities associated with substance use and access to health care. A study with 150,000 people found an increase in the detection of four tested substances four months before and after the National Emergency Declaration. Notably, the increase in prevalence for fentanyl jumped from 3.80% to 7.3%. Additionally, an observational study done in an emergency room in Virginia found a significant increase in the amount of non-fatal opioid overdoses between 2019 and 2020. Because of this, it's important to understand how infectious diseases like COVID-19 interact with the existing healthcare crisis so that we can do our best to protect some of the most vulnerable populations in our communities. There are many factors exacerbated by COVID-19 that contribute to the current opioid crisis. Social isolation, health, home, community, and income have been affected by the pandemic and act as triggers to those suffering from opioid use disorder. Social isolation has made it much harder to maintain mental health. Loneliness, stress, depression, and anxiety are experienced by many individuals, especially those in recovery. These feelings, combined with having excess, unstructured time, can lead to relapses. In terms of health, Access to drug treatment services are being disrupted due to public health measures. During this time, many individuals are choosing to overcome or manage their disorders. This is due to an interruption in the supply of illicit substances and leads to an increased need of drug treatments and services. Other individuals are substituting with different drugs, affecting their daily habits and resulting in an increase in overdosing. Housing insecurity creates vulnerability to COVID-19 as homelessness can expose individuals to places with no physical distancing. Being unable to follow public health measures negatively impacts mental health, which results in relapses. Also, a lack of community during a pandemic hinders the support system that are built by drug users. These relationships and social networks provide support, but due to social distancing, this is not possible. And lastly, loss of income and discrimination can act as triggers resulting in relapses. So, who has been affected by the epidemic and the pandemic? Everyone but there are certain communities that have been affected pretty bad. Studies show that impoverished communities in rural areas have been affected by the opioid epidemic, especially in the southern states of America. In terms of the pandemic, racialized communities are disproportionately affected by COVID-19. In Chicago, more than 50% of the COVID cases involve black individuals. In states like Louisiana and Michigan, the number of COVID-related deaths are disproportionately higher, affecting Black communities heavily. Due to social distancing protocols, marginalized and underserved populations are not only limited in their ability to obtain addiction and substance use disorder services, but also limited in maintaining their treatment plan. As time passes, more studies can be done to learn more about the link between the opioid epidemic and the COVID-19 pandemic. Understanding the link can open up more opportunities for growth and treatment plans for communities nationwide.